Lanning is back now. He'll be punting. This will be a fair catch by Hester. Julio Jones on his way out to the huddle again. It's been a slow start to this game for him. He hasn't been the receiving threat that we're used to seeing, but his team leads. Shows you how many weapons they have on the offensive side. You're right, he has not been a weapon. He is playing poorly, but they're winning the football game, and that's what's most important. Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. The Buccaneers lined up in the nickel. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. It's wide open. Games 14. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories. And, and doing it right is what, what this offensive player did that time. Had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Really good job by the offensive player. And Freeman has the catch. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Ryan's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Just a quick drop back. Launching it deep. Pulls it in. What a call and what a catch. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. The Falcons have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. One more snap in halftime. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The late touchdown here in the second quarter gives them a nice lead with the intermission looming, Phil. Yeah, great job on, the, on their side. They got a nice lead, but I just want to give you a little warning now. This is professional football, and those are professionals on the other side, and they will fight back. So be ready to come out here and play the same way in the second half. He made it. Falcons getting ready to kick it away. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Buccaneers are on the bad end of things right now after two quarters. The Falcons will be tough to stop, though, as they're in a groove after last week's win. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Now, early in the second quarter, Ryan's got the completion from the gun. He would pick up 29 yards and then duck out of bounds. Continuing on the drive, he'll take the run up the middle, and he cap off the long drive with the TD, giving them an early lead. Falcons take it at the 34. Ryan connects with White deep downfield, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 32. Same drive, handoff and run goes up the middle and end up rushing in for a second touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. So that's a wrap for us. We'll head back now to Raymond James Stadium for the start of the second half. And we're back now at Raymond James Stadium. Jim Nance with Phil Sims on site for the beginning of the third quarter. They'll take it at the 20. 
The Buccaneers offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. And now here's the first snap of the second half. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 11. Catch made near the sideline. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Winston's three for three with that completion. Doug Martin. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. The Buccaneers will punt the football away. Hester's got it on the fair catch as the offense heads out now. The Buccaneers defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. So they coached them up on the sidelines. We'll see if we see different results. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of two. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. Ryan will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Freeman's got it on the handle. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Falcons will take the snap from the 35. Ryan's going to take off with it. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Falcons believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. The Falcons take it from the 38. And now Ryan's going to take off. And a flag is down. White met at the 37. Illegal forward pass. Offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Two tight ends on the field here. First down at the 33. Martin up the middle. That's a gain of six. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice go. job by the offensive line. The Buccaneers from the 27. Martin left side. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Martin's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Here they come to the line at the 23. The give this time to the fullback. Godfrey's there to take him down. The defense will take the penalty. Third down after the penalty. The Buccaneers will line up. The first down markers right at the 23-yard line. And Evans is there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. Martin lines up in the backfield. Final quarter underway now with this snap. And gains maybe 
four. The Falcons lead, and all you have to do is look at the turnover ratio, and that tells the story, Phil. It sure does. And listen, everybody calls them turnovers, but let's look at this game here. I call it takeaways. They are taking the football away from the offense. What a job by the defense. Has Jackson. That's his first reception today. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Winston's five for five after that completion. Second down after the incompletion. Vincent Jackson has the reception. The Buccaneers defense now trying to keep him out of the end zone and prevent this game from tightening up. Well, let's see if they can keep him out of the end zone. This defense, when he, the offense gets inside the 10-yard line, they have not been very good. We'll see if they can change that here and make a play. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. Third and goal from the one. Looking across the middle. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. The Buccaneers know to win in the NFL, you got to pick up third downs. It doesn't matter how you do it. Third and short, they go with the pass. Not executed very well. Now it's fourth down. The give. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this. They have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it, and they get it. And the point after is good. Falcon still holds a small advantage here. Late in the fourth, just need to avoid any kind of turnover or silly mistake. Scores 14 to 7. It's Hester taking a knee, so this will come out to the 20. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side when you want to run the football, you got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. Freeman's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First down at the 20. And they deck the quarterback. That's a timeout call. Second down. Hand off out of the eye. And they're gonna run it right. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. shotgun gets away from the pressure he rips it right out of the wide receivers hands anytime your team is losing you're on the defensive side you want to get off the field nice job of being aggressive that time by the defense and they force a fourth down Fair catch this time. They needed the ball back, and they got it off the punt. And now they need points, and they do have timeouts to work with here in the final two minutes. Yeah, having those timeouts is everything. What do we always say? Use those timeouts in the first half. In the second half, protect them like they're gold. Give this offense and the coach credit. They saved a couple, and that's going to help them in this drive. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Here we go. Let's roll. Let's roll. The Buccaneers have it at the 44. 
And it's complete to Gresham. That's a gain of six. This is a big third down snap. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. Well, we see why they're winning, don't we, Jim? They've been playing well on the defensive side all day. Good stop there on third down. And now it's fourth down for the offense. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. Heaving it down the field. Winston's inability to produce the conversion on fourth down in all likelihood signals the end of their last chance to win this game. In situations like this, I know the coaches and his teammates all expect him to come through, but not that time. Just, just not a good play. They'll run it here. Burner's there to make the stop. The Buccaneers will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Takes the knee. Coming to the line at the 46. The Buccaneers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Third down and six. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. And he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, good job that time by the defense. They stopped the offense on third down. Now it's fourth down. They're down one possession, and they're giving the football back to their offense. The Falcons signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. play here fourth down on the way looking at every option what a catch a pair of true defensive efforts out there today that stood out but in the end it's a win for one side even though the offense did not come out impressively when you see a low scoring game like that Jim it means one thing usually a lot of hard hitting it was tough to score conditions were tough and hey no matter how you win you are happy Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.